Okay, we're going to do lesson 5-1 on multiples. So when we want to find the multiple of a number, we just basically skip count by that number. So if we want to find multiples of 2, it's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, and on and on it goes. But this is also 2 times 1, 2 times 2. 2 times 3, 2 times 4, 2 times 5, 2 times 6, 2 times 7, and 2 times 8, because we're saying this is one group of 2. If we count by 2, 4, we're saying we have 2 groups of 2. 2, 4, 6, 3 groups of 2. 2, 4, 6, 8, four groups of two, five groups of two, six groups of two. Each time we're counting by twos, we're adding another group of two. So the multiples of two are two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. On and on and on they go. So let's look at our worksheet here. A multiple is the product of any two non-zero whole numbers. Of course, if we multiply a number by zero, that's the most powerful number in multiplication. It will turn the product into zero. So we have to be dealing with non-zero whole numbers. Each of the product below is a multiple of two. So go ahead. You can skip count by twos as you do this. Go ahead, pause the video, and fill in. Skip two times one, two times two, two times three. Okay, so we should have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. Okay, shade the threes row. Remember, rows go across, columns go down. This is a multiplication table. Okay, so here we have multiples of 3 right here. So 3 times 1, 3 times 2, 3 times 3, 3 times 4, 5, six, seven, eight, and nine. So we're shading the multiples of three. They want us to list the first five multiples. So that would be three, six, nine, 12, and 15. One, two, three, four, five. Now they want us to shade the multiples of six. Six, 12, so this is 6 times 1, 6 times 2, 6 times 3, 6 times 4, 6 times 5, 6 times 6, 6 times 7, 6 times 8, and 6 times 9. So here's our multiples of 6 that we have shaded. They want us to list the first 5 multiples. So 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. Okay, so here's where we're going to take a look at our distributive property. Remember that our distributive property, if we have six groups of two, we can keep the two the same and break down the six into Okay, we're going to break the six into three and three, and then we're going to keep the two the same. Remember this? Three times two. 6, 3 times 2 is 6, it's 12, therefore 6 times 2 is equal to 12. We're just going to do the same thing using this multiplication chart. Okay, so if we have 6 groups of 2 right here, so we take our 2s, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we're at 12. 6 groups of 2. The product of 12 is double the product of three groups of two, which makes sense because this is three groups of two and this is three groups of two, right? Two, 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 two. So the six, and if we had another one, we could add them together and do it. So. Six groups of two is double what three groups of two is. So the double of three, six is the double of three. 
So six times two is double three times two. So if we know we have, this is a six, we know that, that six is twice as much as three. Six is broken up into, into three and three. So we can figure out, just like we did here, three groups of two and three groups of two and add them together. So we're gonna use our distributed property. Six groups of two. Our two stays the same. Our six is broken up into three and three. So the six gets broken up into three and three. The two stays the same. Remember, one of them needs to stay the same. And then you can break up this one into three and three. So six groups of two, they just brought that down. So this six groups, uh, three groups of two equals six, and three groups of two equals six, and six plus six equals 12. 